To replace Junior's power inlet, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, the flathead screwdriver included in Junior's box, and a new power inlet. Before starting any repair on Junior, turn his side power switch off and remove his dustbin. Then flip Junior over onto a flat surface and remove his main brush using the flathead screwdriver. Keep all removed screws and parts safely aside as they may be needed for later reassembly. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the seven screws on Junior's underside that hold him together. There are five screws along the edges of Junior, one screw on each side of the front wheel, one screw to the right of the main brush motor, and one screw on each side of the dust bin. The final two screws are in Junior's brush compartment. Junior's cover is no longer secured, so hold the top and bottom together as you carefully flip him back onto his wheels. Grip Junior's cover from the back and lift up to expose the main board. Slide the power inlet down and tuck it somewhere safe to avoid compressing its wires. Disconnect four circuit plugs, two at the lower edge of the main board near the wheels and two more at the top edge near the bumper. Unplug the power inlet from the main board. Press on the small tab and pull up to remove. There are two screws securing the power inlet to each of Junior's charging plates. Remove each screw and keep them safely aside for the next step. Feed the wiring for the old inlet out from under Junior's main board. Now place the new inlet so the red wire connects to Junior's left charging plate. Install the small screw securing the wire to the charging plate. Ensure that the charging plate does not slide out of place as you install the screw. Feed the black wire so it reaches the right charging plate and install its screw. Feed the inlet under the main board so it reaches the correct space to plug in. When finished, you're ready to start closing Junior's cover. Reattach all four circuit plugs connecting Junior's cover to the main board. There are two that connect to the top edge of the main board. and two more that connect to the bottom edge. Remember to slide the power inlet back into its space on Junior's cover. Align the cover's edges precisely. Then flip Junior over onto a flat surface. Reinstall all seven screws previously removed from Junior's underside. Install the main brush and dustbin before your next use and Junior is completely reassembled. Turn the side power switch back on and congratulations! You've just replaced Junior's power inlet. Happy cleaning!